Abandon ship into the longboat. Hey guys, Sashi Carl and Copy 12. Today's vlog is all about life rules, so let's go ahead. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a tour of enclosed life boat and a life-saving equipment inside it. Just for your information, there are many types of lifeboat like freefall type lifeboat, open lifeboat, partially closed lifeboat, fully enclosed lifeboat and a David launch lifeboat. So here on board, we have an enclosed David launch lifeboat. Here I am ventilating the lifeboat before entering inside. Basically, this lifeboat have three doors at center, forward and aft of a lifeboat. Let me show you the equipment and part of lifeboat from outside. The arrows marking you can see are of lifeboat painters and forward door. Followed by lifeboat center door. And this is how a lifeboat looks like from top. Here you can see the aft door of a lifeboat. For charging lifeboat batteries, here at outside we have a lifeboat battery charger socket which is connected through a cable here to a lifeboat. Here you can also see an aft lifeboat David, a hydrostatic release hook and a aft harbor pin. The pipes around a lifeboat is actually a sprinkler system pipes from which a seawater sprinkles out around a lifeboat which keeps it cool in case of lowering a lifeboat in a fire incident. Moving ahead, we see here is a forward David, hydrostatic release hook and a forward harbor pin which holds the forward David of a lifeboat. So let's go inside the lifeboat. Here you can see from inside a center hatch door from where I have entered the lifeboat, a forward hatch door and behind me you can find a aft hatch door of a lifeboat. Later on I will try to make a video with a 360 degree view of a lifeboat. Do let me know in a comment section if you really want to see it. Most of a lifeboat equipments are kept beneath the seat of a lifeboat. Here we can see an air bottle to supply an oxygen when hatches are fully closed and to maintain a positive pressure inside a lifeboat. Lifeboat have two batteries and near it you can find an on and off switch for batteries. Opposite to the batteries, here you can see a main engine of a lifeboat beneath this cover. Just above a main engine, you have a control panel of a lifeboat. Here you can find a steering wheel, RPM controller and an indicator, light on and off switch, air regulator switch and a magnetic compass. Let's move ahead. In a box, we have few life-saving equipments like two buckets, engine repair toolkits, thermal protective suits which helps to maintain a body temperature, a survival booklet, a fishing tackle for fishing.
a torch with a spare bulb and batteries. A first aid kit, a sea sickness bag, a jackknife, a tin opener, a mirror reflector for giving a signal to nearby ships. A boy in coat for rescuing a person from sea. A Jacob ladder for embarking a lifeboat from a sea. In the next compartment, we have a drinking water in a 500 ml pack dedicated for all crew on lifeboats. Let's go to the next compartment. Here you can find a searchlight, a distress signal, probably you have seen this in a movie called Captain Phillips. A distress signal also includes a hand flare, a boy and smoke signals. Next we have here a radar reflector which reflects the electromagnetic waves of nearby ships and give them a signal of our boat. This is how a radar reflector looks when we assemble it. Next is a sea anchor and this is how it looks and how it is used. Next is a food ration in form of biscuits with 10,000 kilojoules of power for each person on board. We also have a dry chemical powder type fire extinguisher and this is very important a hydrostatic hook release lever last but not the least a hatchet just a few effects so guys i hope you like my videos do let me know in the comment section how it was and if i miss something do let me know in comment section too so this was all about lifeboats see you in next video take care bye bye be healthy be fine